Hey, Suki. And I'm going to tell you all of this, even though somebody else is listening. I just have to do it anyway. So, I think it's really important that I be able to identify what I need. I couldn't do that as well when I was young. But now that I'm not young, I can put my finger on it. But I could probably have done it when I was young. I just never thought about it. So, when I have my workout partners come over, I need a hug every day. But I'm not getting it now. And the thing I read said that you need like five or six or seven hugs a day to be progressive. And I, I'm i going to have to work on getting that many. I don't even know if that's possible in this period of time. Um, when I was in high school and teaching, I think I got that many hugs a day because of little pimpin and she would hug me every time she came around the building and passed my classroom so i got a lot of hugs all right the other thing i thought you know in a marriage or in a relationship you know what you need maybe and I need him to not breathe all hard like he's frustrated. But if he wasn't listening to me, he wouldn't be frustrated. Because he doesn't like for me to make these videos, Thelma. And so I don't do them to meet his needs. I do them to meet mine. And I need engagement. I told you already. That's why I do this right. So... I think that it would be good for me to have a compliment every day. Actually, I thought two of them, but when I suggested it, you know, my partner came up with, what? <laughs> There's 352 days in the year, so I'm supposed to come up with that many compliments? 350. 365 and that made me think about it maybe not and you know then we came up i came up with a no repeat policy or we need to come up with a weekly repeat policy or like how often you can repeat anyway i'll think about it but the point is, you are responsible for deciding and determining what you need. You are then responsible for getting your needs met. And in a marriage or a long-term commitment or short-term commitment, it is your responsibility to get your needs met in a way that's going to be healthy. You know, so I don't want to go walking around the grocery store asking everybody I see to give me a compliment. Um, although that is an experiment. I wonder how that would work. So maybe we'll have to do the data. Anyway, that's what I wanted to tell you today. So you need to find out what your needs are and be honest about them. That's important. Be honest about them. And then you need to communicate those needs to the people that are important to you that can help you meet those needs. Now, you also need to be ready to meet somebody else's needs, depending on what they are. And 
And if they don't tell you what their needs are, oh, okay, then you can't, you can't meet them. All right, I think that's enough for this morning. And yeah, that's all I got. So I'm going to go now. All right, I love you. Goodbye.